So today's book is See What I Can Do, uh, written by John Roberts, and the illustrations are by, by Hannah Rounding. Um, I'm not sure I can read this entire book to you today because it's, like, it's brilliant, there's so many sections to it, but I'm going to pick a few um, to share and then hopefully you can go and buy it and read it yourself, read the rest of it. Um, but it's about diversity and you know embracing all of our differences and seeing them as really positive things um, that can empower us to have lots of fun um, with our friends and at school and in life with our hobbies. Um, so our first one, the first one I'd like to share to you, and look at the beautiful illustrations, um, is called Music and Dance. Molly and Gillian are walking to school with their friends. They are talking about the things that they enjoy. I love playing music, Molly says, pointing to her cello. One of the other girls points to Molly's hands. They look a little different from other children's. But how can you play, the girl asks. Molly smiles. I might look different, but that doesn't mean I can't do things. I just have my own special way of doing them. Gillian nods. That's like me with dance. My legs are different lengths and I have to wear a special shoe to help me walk properly. But that doesn't stop me from competing. I have won lots of awards for my dancing. Wow, says her friend. I never knew you could do so much. Molly grins. When I'm older, I want to be a teacher, so I can help teach children about limb differences. I want everyone to know that being different doesn't mean you can't do anything that you want. Okay, and then the second one I'm going to share with you is called Paying Too Much Attention. Look, it's like a big top scene. Jaden and Elsie love performing. I have a lot of energy, says Jaden. I absolutely love telling funny and colourful stories, but sometimes all that energy gets me into trouble, particularly in school. I find it difficult to sit still and concentrate on my schoolwork, and I talk all the time. Elsie nods. A lot of people think I can't pay attention or sit still for very long. They think I'm being naughty and trying to cause trouble, but I'm not. The problem is I pay too much attention I see every detail, hear every sound, and pay attention to them all at once. With so much in my brain, I sometimes forget what I'm doing, or I pay attention to the wrong things. Jaden and Elsie have Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD for short. Someone with ADHD might find it hard concentrating and controlling their body, so might move around a lot. It's tough, says Jaden. Sometimes I feel like Sonic the Hedgehog, always running at top speed and never stopping to do one thing. I know what you mean, says Elsie. Some days I wish I could slow down and act like a turtle. Giggling, the girls get on all fours. Who says we can't be turtles, Jaden says. Last one to the wall wins. <laughs> and then let's share. Oh, I quite like this one because it's called Lots of Snot. Anyone with children knows there's lots of snot. Um, but this is a particular kind of snot. So we have Ashley is browsing the internet on her school computer. She is showing her friend a website on cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is a disease that affects Ashley's lungs and makes it hard for her to digest food. I love doing all the things my friends love to do, Ashley says, but I struggle with breathing and breaking down mucus. That means snot. You, says Ashley's friend, snot. Ashley nods. I get sick very easily, which means lots of snot. For me to stay healthy, it's important for my friends to wash their hands so they don't spread germs to me. Ashley's friend smiles. I'm glad to know that. What else can you do to stay healthy? Well, my body has difficulty breaking down nutrients from food, so I have to make sure I eat the right things. That means I have to eat a lot of fatty foods like nuts and cheese, says Ashley. But hey, it could be worse. After all, who doesn't like cheese? And I like it here at the bottom, it breaks it down into the um, phonetic way of saying cystic fibrosis. Because it's, it's quite a hard word to say. I struggle with that one. So cystic fibrosis. Okay, and then shall we share one more? See. 
or enjoy what you love. I like this this idea already. We haven't even read it. Um, Chloe and Cam, Chloe, Cammy, and Indy are in the playground. All around them, the other kids run and jump, but the three girls can't join in with them, as they all have spina bifida. This means there's a gap in their spine. Indy says, "I don't like pushing. I don't like anyone pushing my wheelchair unless I'm super tired." but I do like to go as fast as I can all by myself. Chloe agrees, me too. Zooming down the hall is so much fun, but I love dancing and music even more. I can't walk, so I dance sitting on the floor. Cammy has a frame to help her walk. I struggle with running and climbing things. I know my brain is sending the right messages, but they keep getting lost on their way to my legs. But that's okay. There are lots of things I can do without my legs. I love writing stories, camping with my friends and making things. Spina bifida never stops me from, from what I love doing, says Indy. If I could tell other children with spina bifida one thing, it would be to always keep doing what you love, says Chloe. You have this amazing story. Share it and help others. And again, it says how to say spina bifida. These beautiful illustrations. Right, so this book is packed full of little stories like that, which I have to admit is an education for me too. And it's such a lovely way, um, like an amazing resource actually, that if your child goes to school and meets somebody who's, who's perhaps got one of these conditions or um, you know, a different ability to them, that yeah, it's just a really lovely way of talking to them about it. And yeah, I, um, I know I said I was gonna donate all these books at the end, but I think I might be, be buying them all as well so that we can have them at home as well as giving them away. Because um, yeah, they're just so lovely and really beautiful illustrations and just such important messages about inclusivity and diversity and accepting um, how different we all are and that it's just so full of positives. Um, so yeah, so this is See What I Can Do by John Roberts. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the um, the chapters that I chose for you and yeah if you want more there's there's lots in here so yeah just go and buy and have a little read yourself um yeah thanks for listening